Hello guys, welcome to Miss Fountain channel. For our new viewers, kindly subscribe to this channel. And in this session, we are going to look at antibodies. And in antibodies, we are going to look at the properties and functions of different classes of antibodies. We are going to begin with a definition of antibodies. Whereby you find that antibodies are glycoproteins that are produced in brain bound or secreted form by B lymphocytes in response to exposure to a foreign structure known as antigens. The human immunoglobulins are a family of proteins that confer humoral immunity as well as perform vital roles in promoting cellular immunity. We have five classes of antibodies or immunoglobulins which are termed as immunoglobulin G, M, A, D, and E. And all these classes have a basic four-chain antibody structure, but differ in their heavy chains. Antibodies are gamma globulins, and antibodies are usually referred to as a first line of defense against infection. And the most important function of antibodies is to confer protection against microbial pathogens. And they confer protection in the following ways. One, they prevent attachment of microbes to mucosal surfaces of the host. Two, they reduce the virulence of microbes by neutralizing toxins and viruses. Three, they facilitate phagocytosis by opsonization of microbes and four they activate complement leading to complement mediated activities against microbes now we are going to look at the the different antibodies we are going to begin with immunoglobulin A this is predominant immunoglobulin in colostrum, in saliva, in tears, bronchial secretions, nasal mucosa, prostatic fluid, vaginal secretions, as well as the mucus, mucus secretions of the small intestines. They block the uptake of antigen, bacterial viral attachment. They limit the inflation induced by classical pathway, complement activation. They also promote microbial destruction through ADCC by binding to leukocyte receptors. Immunoglobulin A also activate the alternative pathway of complement. Secretory immunoglobulin A can play an, Im an important first line of defense in antigen clearance by binding to antigens that leak across an epithelium and transporting them back across to prevent their entry. That is immunoglobulin A. Now we are going to look at immunoglobulin G. Now we find this is most abundant class of immunoglobulins in the serum, comprising about 80% of the total serum immunoglobulin. And you have four subclasses of immunoglobulin G, that is immunoglobulin G1, G2, G3, and G4. And immunoglobulin G1, G3, and G4 are special because they, they are the only immunoglobulins with the ability to cross the placental barrier. So what do these do? They protect the developing fetus against infection. Activates complement immunoglobulin G3, immunoglobulin G1, and immunoglobulin G2 in order of their efficiency. Also mediate opsonization due to affinity toward FC receptors on phagocytic cells, that is immunoglobulin G1 and G3, bind with high affinity. Immunoglobulin G4 with intermediate affinity in immunoglobulin G2 with extremely low affinity. 
They also bind microorganisms and facilitates the process of phagocytosis of microorganisms. Also take part in precipitation, complement fixation, as well as the neutralization of toxins and viruses, and confers the protection against microorganisms that are present in the body and tissues. That is immunoglobulin G. Now we are going to look at immunoglobulin E. Okay, before we go to E, let's look at immunoglobulin M. And this is basically a pentamer that is composed of five immunoglobulin subunits. Those are the monomeric subunits. And one molecule, one molecule of J chain. You have two subclasses of immunoglobulin M, that is immunoglobulin M1 and immunoglobulin M2 are found, which differ in their chains. And what they do, they hide, they're highly efficient in activating the classical complement pathway. Major immunoglobulin that is expressed on the surface of B cells, where it serves as an antigen receptor, also gives primarily immune response as well as acting as an agglutinin, absonin, and lyse lysins and complementary fixing antibody. And now on to immunoglobulin E, which is also known as a reagenic antibody that mediates the type I, immediate hypersensitivity, that is a topic reaction, mostly found extravascularly in lining of the respiratory and intestinal tracts. They important they are important role in protection against parasitic infection and also activates type one hypersensitivity or hypersensitive reaction that is anaphylactic reaction that is immunoglobulin E. Now we're going to look at immunoglobulin D which comprises less than 1%, that is about 0.2 serum immunoglobulins. And precise function, function of immunoglobulin D still remains unclear, but they are present on the surface of B lymphocytes along with the immunoglobulin M. And we find that immunoglobulin D and immunoglobulin M serve as a serve as recognition receptors for antigens and they may also they may play a role in antigen triggered lymphocyte differentiation those are the different types of antibodies that we have thank you for watching this video remember to like share and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel stay tuned for more videos thank you